Hi, good morning. It's me again, Teacher Arnold Pepano of San Mayor Elementary School. Our today's topic is about modes of reproduction of animals. Are you familiar with these two animals? Yes, they are characters in the Ice Age movie. These animals are mammoth and saber to tiger. And do you know what is common to these two animals? They are both extinct. They no longer exist. And that's really sad. Now. In our country, we have a lot of animals that are critically endangered, meaning there are only few number of these animals exist. Like the Philippine eagle, the tamarau, and Philippine crocodile. Why they are critically endangered? Well, it's because of human. We are killing their natural habitat. Even they continue to reproduce, still they are in danger if we don't stop destroying their home. Animals have the means to increase their number through reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which new individual organisms offspring are produced from their parents. This is to preserve their species and to help in keeping the nature balance as they interact with other animals. Most of the animals like cats, dogs, butterflies, frogs, and the like need a male and female to reproduce. And this is called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a process of creating offspring with the participation of sperm cell from the male parent and egg cell from the female parent. In sexual reproduction, new animals with a set of unique characteristics is produced. This means that the offspring is quite different from its parents because of the combined genes from the parents. In this kind of reproduction, it involves fertilization, the union of egg cell and sperm cell. There are two types of fertilization, the internal fertilization where the sperm cell and egg cell meet inside the female's body, and external fertilization, the union of egg cell and sperm cell happens outside the body. Just like human, cats, dogs, cows, butterflies, and mosquitoes are examples of animals engaged in internal fertilization. The second type is external fertilization. Unlike among frogs, they also reproduce sexually. But fertilization occurs in the water or outside the body. External fertilization happens when both male and female frog release sperm and egg in the water to form fertilized eggs. Animals may also reproduce asexually. A sexual reproduction only needs one parent. Most common activities under a sexual reproduction are budding and binary fission. Budding happens when a new animal is produced through outgrowth parts of the parent. Aquatic animals like hydra and jellyfish are doing this process. Hydras are predatory. They eat worms, insect larvae, small crustaceans, larval fish, and other invertebrates. They use their stinging cells to stun, entangle, or kill their prey before eating it. On the other hand, binary fission, which is performed by a sea anemone, occurs when the parent animal divides into two. It means one animal, parent, result into two new individuals. In general, animals may reproduce sexually and asexually, depending on the species. Remember, Fertilization inside and outside the body are the two general modes of sexual reproduction. The expected offspring may have separate single sex or combined sexes depending on the species. Unique individual possessing different characteristics 
is produced in sexual reproduction because the genetic material of the parent are blended or combined. Through the process, the offspring is taught to give sexually reproducing individuals with great, greater fitness to be mechanism to survive and reproduce in an unpredictable or changing environment. On the other hand, a sexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent because the offspring are all clones of the original parent. A single individual can produce offspring asexually and large numbers of offspring can be produced quickly. Even if they continue to reproduce, still they are in danger if we don't stop destroying their home.